What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here for you. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Remark 2.0. The best NFT platform is evolving with Mover now. Can this trigger the price upwards to $150 soon? Let's get into it. But before I jump into the content, I just completely revamped my website, bitcoinlockup.com, as you can see on your screen here. There is some exciting stuff coming and you can always preview my newest videos there before they hit YouTube or any other platform. There will also be some bonus exclusive content coming that will not be made available anywhere else. Let's get into it. Welcome back. So in some of our last videos, I talked about how Remark is changing how NFTs are constructed. At the time of publishing that video, the price of RMRK was roughly $9. Today, I wanted to touch on Remark or RMRK as it's referred to as the new NFT art Legos, which are programmable NFTs on the Kusama network. Now, Remark 2.0 is already underway. And here we go. Now, in case you didn't see my last video on Remark, here are some of the basics. It's built on Kusama and the Kusama Relay Chain Network has introduced complexity into NFTs by introducing what it calls Art Legos on Remark, which is an NFT platform and system. Data on the Relay Chain is simple in the structure, so the Remark Network does not use complex smart contracts. Instead, it writes notes representing each NFT onto blocks on the chain using this concept also known as Art Legos. Similar to the colored bricks, these Art Legos act as building blocks for NFTs to connect to each other, nest, and add more complexity of the initial primitive NFT. These new Art Legos are programmable and potentially more valuable to the owner. So what has changed since this last video with the new Dino X Dino partnership I mentioned? Well, you probably have heard of Ethereum 2.0, but have you heard of Remark 2.0? What is it? Well, the Remark protocol is a system of NFT Legos, which allows developers and designers to build composable, equipable, multi-resource NFTs, which are multi-chain by default by virtue of being launched on Kusama, the center of a multi-chain universe. The NFTs can visually change based on other NFTs they own, but these NFTs are also eternally liquid and forward compatible in that they can be made equipable by unrelated future projects that aren't even planned yet. So with Remark tokens in the hands of the community, the protocol is to NFTs what Ethereum was to Bitcoin, a paradigm shift that takes a single thing and a single use case and dramatically augments it. Because Remark is designed with future compatibility in mind, you can now mint multi-chain compatible NFTs. This is a game changer. All NFTs minted on Singular can be teleported to any substrate-based chain in Kusama and Polkadot ecosystems, with the condition that the chain has implemented Remark's standard. Already, Unique Network, Akala, Fala, BitCountry, Zeitgeist, Plasm, and Bifrost have pledged via partnerships to be Remark compatible. Now that means that your NFT can teleport from Kusama to Akala to gain DeFi capability and then to BitCountry to have fun or attend a meeting in the metaverse. With 100 parachains planned for Polkadot and Kusama within the next five years, endless possibilities abound for all singular minted NFTs. Singular is the open sea of Kusama. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. Those are pretty solid projects, but how exactly does this connect to Moon River? Let's get into it. So groundbreaking NFT system on Kusama brings advanced NFT capabilities directly to Moon River. Moon River is the first EVM to host Remark-based NFTs, bringing Remark's advanced NFT functionality 
to the broader mover ecosystem. Moon River is a natural expansion point since it has dozens of NFT projects already deployed with many more on the way. Moon River natively supports ERC721 and ERC1155 standards, NFTs positioning as the top destination for Ethereum compatible NFTs with the largest number of deployed protocols and users. This is a game changer. Through this integration, Moon River developers will be able to leverage Remark's building blocks, Legos, to construct advanced NFTs without having to write smart contract code. Unlike traditional ERC721 NFTs, Remark can evolve over time, own or equip other NFTs, and change their output based on emotes or other creator-specified rules. They are also inherently multi-chain, which is a natural fit for Moon River, and they can be governed as DAOs through derived fungible tokens. The goal is to also bring Kusama features and standards into the Moon River EVM environment. Remark is a great example of the Kusama native project and standard seeing significant traction, which can enhance and extend the Ethereum environment on Moonbeam. Now, we are excited to support the Remark team to bring advanced Kusama native NFT functionality to Moon River based developers. Now, what comes next exactly with Remark 2.0? The launch of Remark 2.0, which will bring the Canaria feature set to the existing creator hub of Singular, will probably happen before the end of this year. And with that release, in turn, will transform the entire Singular ecosystem from a niche OpenSea competitor to an unparalleled pioneer in the Web3 space. In the new year, Remark will be leading the way as a bridge between existing red-hot zeitgeist of dumb NFT trading and the next elephant in the room, which of course is the metaverse. Now, wrapping all this up, I'm obviously a fan of what the future looks like because early movers like Remark and Polkadot are building a new technological ecosystem with decentralization as one of its core precepts. This could allow for the evolution of the metaverse in general as a concept and specifically with regard to the world that Remark is building as you see this as a community led and connection that the world desperately needs right now. And of course, most recently yesterday, they just announced that the Remark hackathon was completed. So let's understand why this is important and look at some stats and takeaways. Over two months, the hackathon saw a total of 772 participants. We got a total of 61 submissions and 27 of which were disqualified for being previous work, plagiarism, or just plain unrelated to the hackathon's goal. The sign-up rate went from zero to 455 participants using a Brave campaign, and it went from 445 to 772 during the remainder of the time using dev posts, marketing, and promotion. Now, despite participation numbers being impressive, the number of submissions was, some would say, mildly disappointing considering the overall prize pools. This type of engagement is almost unheard of in newer crypto projects, let alone one that's built to be forward compatible for Web3 the metaverse, and the overall NFT landscape. Hmm, maybe we'll soon see a partnership coming soon with Unstoppable Domain NFTs next, since they already recently announced partnerships with for growth and scaling with Polygon. Link down below in the description if you wanna check out those domain NFTs, but if you wanna get off the bench and into the game, you can check out Singular and all parts of the Remark platform on remark.app website. As of shooting this video, RMRK is currently just shy of $51 a coin, and that's even after the massive crypto market crash recently. So why would this coin go at least 3.5x from here? In short, low supply, high utility, and a burning mechanism to ensure that this coin will become provably scarcer over time. This is built for Web3 and the metaverse from the start, and we all know by now that's where the proverbial puck 
is going. Watch, it will pay. I, I may have been early, but I'm not wrong. Does it sound like something maybe you've heard of before? And then go ahead and click right here to watch my deep dive video on Remark in the top right corner if you're not quite convinced yet. I'll see you guys in that video right now. Crypto Renegade out.